then this was a <laughs> Happy fall! So, uh, I have my FabFitFun Fall 2021 box to unbox for you. Uh, and I debated whether to wait to upload this until after Labor Day because uh, I know some of you like to hold on to the very last shreds of summer as long as you can. Uh, and I know that Labor Day is often like kind of a marker between summer and fall. But FabFitFun is currently having a, I think it's called their trendsetter sale, something like that. It's one of their kind of uh, between box sales. And uh, some of the items I'm going to show you that I picked up in the add-on store are available in that sale. So I wanted to upload it uh, on Monday, which is the last day of the sale, so that if you see anything uh, that you're interested in, uh, you can go and purchase it. Uh, and if you have any kind of naysayers in your life, if you're eager to launch into fall, uh, you can tell them that September 1st is the first day of meteorological fall. Uh, so I know there's lots of different markers, uh, September 1st, like I said, Labor Day, and then the vernal equinox, I think is the absolute last we can say that fall begins. Uh, so without further ado, I will show you what I got here. Uh, so you may have some idea of what I'm about to show you if you watched my What Will I Choose video. Uh, so, I think this is the same size box that I got over the summer. I think they've introduced a variety of different box sizes depending on what you select. So, uh, just be aware that the uh, box size may vary. Uh, so, on top we have the little pamphlet magazine here. And it has just some random information. Uh, it used to have all of the different options that you could have selected, but uh, like so many have said, uh, they have decided to do away with that. Uh, so I just kind of took some notes. They do have the calendar of all the various sales coming up. They talk about the charity that they're benefiting this season. Some recipes. And then at the back here, it tells you a little bit about some of the exclusive offers. So every season they have a web page where you can uh, get certain discounts on some of the items featured in uh, the box for that season. So there's like Corez, Ren, uh, Benefit, Dose & Co, Amica. And I don't think you have to be a FabFit Fun member uh, to be able to use the code because there's no way to check. So uh, even if you're not subscribed, you can check out that page uh, to get an idea for the discounts. Okay, so let's talk about category one. Uh, so the only item I selected was the uh, Phantom Chef 8-inch fry pan. It came in a little cardboard box like so, and this actually fits uh, almost exactly in the box. Uh, so uh, it's non-stick, dishwasher suitable, stay cool handle, PFOA free and PTFE free. Works for all cooktops, but not suitable for the oven. Wash thoroughly before use. Uh, so that was option one, and this is what the actual pan looks like. Uh, it feels very well made. Uh, we haven't actually cooked anything in it yet, but uh, it feels nice. It has a nice faux wood handle, uh, but it feels very kind of ergonomic and everything like that. So I'm very happy with this so far, even though we haven't used it. So that looks like it will be a nice little pan to use. Uh, like I said in my What Will I Choose video, some of the older nonstick pans we have are just a little scratched up. So I think it's time to retire those and uh, move on. Okay, so for option two, I got this Uncommon James Acacia Wood Cheese Board. Uh, and this I think you could use either as a cheese board or as a cutting board. It's made in China. It says hand wash only, dry before storing, wash thoroughly before use. Uh, so that is what that looks like. I think that's pretty aesthetically pleasing. And uh, I think I said like in my video, there's the laser etched uh, Uncommon James logo on this side, but you can turn it over and just have kind of the plain surface if you prefer. Uh, I think the surface is actually prettier because it has more of those kind of blonde stripes as opposed to this side. 
so yeah, so I thought that would be handy to have. Eventually we'll be able to have people over again. I had been using like just random like bamboo cutting boards or whatever before to like serve cheeses on, but I think that'll be a little bit nicer. Uh, or if you have a party, you can have multiple cheese boards. Uh, so that was one choice. And then I also picked up this Cloud Nola clock as an additional choice. Uh, and this came with, I think, three, what are these, AAA batteries? Yeah. Uh, and it also has the cord where you can plug it in. It has like a USB type charger. Uh, I haven't set this up yet. So I guess I can go ahead and do that. Uh, I will say it's a little bit smaller than I expected and it just, it feels kind of cheap. Uh, so this was a $15 additional choice and they say it was a $45 value, but I think a $15 value is probably a little bit more accurate there. Uh, so I don't necessarily regret having paid $15 for it. It has this weird plastic. I don't know if I'm supposed to take that out. I guess so. Okay, so that is what it looks like. Oh, is it telling me the temperature? It's not 101 degrees right now. Uh, okay, so let's set, is that the year? I'm a bit confused by this. 24 hour, oh, okay, 12. So it is now four. Oh, okay, we're still on 24 time. <laughs> I don't know what that means, A3. I think I might have to look at the instructions for this because I'm a bit confused. <laughs> it's saying it's 75, my watch is saying 79. It's probably 75 in this apartment. Okay, well anyway, that's what it looks like with numbers on it, but I'm gonna have to, um, figure out how to uh, program it. So it does come with a little booklet. So, okay, worry about that later. Oh, and it looks like it also has a QR code for a user manual. I think they're based in Iowa, that's interesting. Made in China, three alarms, time, temps, temperature, calendar, bright, okay. All right, well, it looks like it does a lot, but it's a little bit more complicated than I can set up right now. Okay. Uh, let's move on to number three. Uh, so I can't remember which one I chose and which one was the add-on, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so I think I chose this APL uh, backpack and then my other choice uh, was the Dose & Co Pure Collagen. Again, in my video, I think I talked about kind of the price per ounce of this compared to the vital proteins that you can find at Costco. Uh, and I think for this current sales period, the Vital Proteins is on sale at Costco. I don't know if it's like $8 off or something. So I'm not sure with the sales price, which is cheaper, but if you are a Costco member and you didn't get this in a FabFitFun box, you might wanna check that out at Costco. Uh, so let's see this backpack. So it has that zipper and this uh, little, these little hooks, it's kind of, hard to push on so it's not gonna kind of open easily so anyway so this is a backpack that will fold up so it'd be good to take traveling if you might need you know some additional uh, carrying capabilities unexpectedly uh, we did go hiking on Friday and I thought about taking this but like I said it's kind of like a spare tire like I don't know that I would put a whole lot of like weight and wear and tear on it. Oh, that's interesting. So this becomes like a little key keychain hook that goes inside the uh, zippered pocket. So that was the pouch turned inside out. So that could be a zipper. It looks like there's a zipper here that goes in like two thirds of the way. And then you have some mesh kind of water bottle pockets. And then it looks like there's another zipper on the back here that goes like all the way down. Uh, the straps do have a little bit of padding and they are adjustable. So yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this. 100% polyester, you can hand wash it cold and line dry. It does have a little handle as well. Okay, so I guess this is actually the front. 
I had it backwards. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, so that is the, I guess, third category. Uh, next up we have category four. <laughs> so like I said, we did go uh, hiking the other day and I did break out this uh, baseball cap. Don't do what I do and leave this little kind of paper insert. Uh, I thought that was just kind of part of the like reinforced front part and I didn't realize that it is removable. Uh, so don't do what I did. Uh, I'm going to try and put this on without getting makeup on. And I have like a big hair clip on the back, but uh, yeah, it worked well. So I don't know what the technical term for this part of the um, cap is. Is it like the bill or something? Uh, but anyway, that seemed like it came out a little bit farther than normal. I don't wear baseball caps all that often. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. So uh, yeah, just don't do what I did and leave the thing in. Uh, so that was one thing. Uh, and then I also got this Santorini Renewing Body Cleanser. Uh, so additional choices in this category were $7. Uh, for the previous category, they were 10. So either the backpack or the collagen would have been basically $10, which I thought was fair. Okay, so that was like totally shrink wrapped. And I just wanted to give this a smell. It says 88.3% natural origin content. On the lid it says herbs slash cooperation slash extraction slash research. Okay, so that's nice. I think I'm getting a little bit more of a citrusy note than like a grape note, but I guess it's like a white grape. Uh, it does have sodium laureth sulfate, formulated by women, clean formula, made in Greece. So I might see if my husband wants to use this. He seems to be kind of very picky about uh, body washes lately, so I'll see if he enjoys using that one. Uh, but that would have been $7, so a little expensive for just a body wash. This is 8.45 fluid ounce, but this is kind of more of a high-end body wash, so I think that's fine. And then the last item here, I think this is what I actually put in my box. These are the Fry Boot Socks. Uh, so again, the additional choices in this category would have been seven, so either the socks, the baseball cap, or the cleanser. Two of those would have been seven dollars. Uh, these feel okay. I'm just wondering if they will be more breathable or more kind of sweat inducing. Uh, these are 81% viscose, 18% uh, polyamide, 1% spandex. Hand wash cold, do not bleach, line dry. Well, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> that, when I was watching a lot of the kind of recommendations videos or whatever for the Nordstrom anniversary sale, a lot of people were talking about the, I think, Notori underwear. And I looked at it and uh, I thought about purchasing a pair, but they were hand wash only. And I'm like, who has time to hand wash their underwear? Unless it's like kind of some really special lingerie or something like, no thank you. So I'll probably put these in the gentle cycle with other dark colors, but I'm not gonna hand wash socks. I'm just not. <laughs> okay, so just to give you a sense of the size it doesn't look like they have a like a built-in heel or anything they're just kind of straight which is interesting uh, but i imagine the heel would be about to there give or take uh, okay so we'll see how those do again seven dollars for two pairs of socks it's not terrible those were supposed to have a 24 dollar value I don't know about that. The cleanser was supposed to have a $19 value. The baseball cap was supposed to have a $38 value. Uh, again, I'm happy to pay seven for those, but not, not what they say they are worth. Okay, so next category, number five. Uh, I got the food drink trivia. So cute little orange box. Uh, again, this was a category where additional items were $7. Uh, so I think I put the trivia in my box and then I also got the pedicure set that I'll show you in a minute. So 
that's what they look like. This is supposed to have 120 food and drink questions. These cars can be widely recycled, made in China. So the thing that is kind of annoying to me right now is that there's this like, like paper holder that is just keeping the cards. You could have put like that many more cards in there. Uh, so I don't know if this is like a standard, uh, what do you call it? like a standard trivia card size. I guess you can put them at a kind of diagonal to make it a little bit easier to kind of get them in and out or whatever. I'm curious, break out my little measuring tape here. So it looks like they're about 2.6 inches square or a little over like six and a half centimeters. So I don't know if you're if you're a trivia aficionado. Let me know if uh, there are other ones I could maybe put in here to kind of round it out. I'm not sure how long it would take to get through 120 questions in one sitting, but if you're playing with the same people over and over again, you know you might memorize all the answers. Uh, I saw a game at Barnes and Noble earlier today where uh, it was like a I think it was called Mind the Gap. It was a trivia game where it was like boomers, Gen X, millennial, and Gen Z. So I guess it was like trivia questions that are kind of, you know, geared towards each of those generations. So I thought that was a really interesting way of doing trivia because, you know, what your parents may know as kind of their cultural touch points, I would probably not be as familiar with and vice versa. And I don't even know what Gen Z is doing these days. So I have the remnants of my Starbucks pumpkin cold brew here. Speaking of pumpkin, I got the, is it Vosh, Vosh, um, pumpkin spice pedicure kit. Uh, so this was an additional $7, I guess. It's supposed to have a $20 value. And uh, it has four different steps, I guess. Oh, it includes two complete four-step pedicure kits. Okay, so you can do this whole thing two times. Okay, that's, that's nice. I thought it was just a one-time thing. They're, they're put in there and there's a numbered packet one through four in each of those little slots. So uh, we have uh, the salt soak is number one. So this has sea salt as the salt in it. Uh, I was wondering if it was magnesium or uh, salt. So I might actually use both uh, of the salt packets in a bath instead of using them, I don't know, like in a foot thing. <laughs> uh, there's the sugar scrub. So it's gently massage onto foot and lower leg. So I guess I can always start with one and see if I need to reach for the second one. Uh, there's a mud mask. Again, you put on your foot and lower leg. And then finally the massage butter. So uh, that should be fun. As I said in my What Will I Choose video, it'll be a nice kind of get in the mood type pamper session. Uh, I just used one of the Patchology foot peels like on Wednesday, so like four days ago. And it hasn't really started to peel yet. So I think I'll kind of wait for that to do its thing and then uh, try one of those. Uh, okay, so that was it for five. And for number six, I got uh, two things. Uh, the first uh, is this Ren Ever Calm Day Cream. Uh, so this is supposed to have a $68 value. So uh, it has an airless pump like so. This should be kind of nice and protecting going into the fall months. Okay, so I guess I can go ahead and squeeze some of this on my hand since it's a airless pump. So it's pretty thick. It does have kind of a like spa type smell to it. I don't hate it. I don't know if that's my favorite. I mean, it says 100% natural fragrance. It has citronellal, Geraniol, limonene, linalool, rosemary leaf extract, fragrance. So anyway, that'll be fun to try. And then finally, I got a bundle. Uh, so you may have seen, if you are a subscriber, that the little silicone shower scrubber was subbed for a comb set. So I didn't end up uh, choosing a set that had any of those, uh, but I did get the set that had the 
little kind of tiered tray, which I think my husband will find helpful for like kind of holding all his little screws and rivets and whatnot. Uh, so that's one thing. Uh, this was supposed to have a $67 value altogether. And I think, I didn't write it down here. I think additional choices were like 10 or 15 for this one, like it went back up. Uh, so I have this hip lunch pack. So maybe we put like trail mix or something in here. Uh, I wonder if, it says hand wash only. So I don't think I'd wanna put anything that was like super messy or hard to clean, especially when you have all those little crevices in it. Uh, if you, you had like a super kind of small bikini or something, maybe you could fit it in something like this, but I don't know, that wasn't really a huge selling point for me. Uh, and then lastly, we had this Cali bath gel, Islands of Italy. Uh, this has a peach champagne fragrance. There's a safety seal. So I was kind of wondering if this would smell kind of like a Bellini. I don't know if they were going for uh, like a Venice kind of Bellini vibe. I think that's where Bellinis were invented was in Venice. So that smells nice. It's not like overpowering. It's kind of subtle. Uh, this has sodium lauryl sulfate again. So uh, my idea for this was to use it as a bubble bath. So uh, I think it should be good for that. Okay, so that was it for the items I selected in the box and the additional items I selected. Okay, so just to show you kind of what's hanging out at the bottom of the box, we have a lot of these type worm things and then they always have kind of the advertising type spam type stuff. There's a green chef flyer, so you can subscribe to that. A bright sellers thing. There's $15 off uh, for new customers uh, who are getting a seasonal subscription. So uh, if you want to use that, feel free. Uh, and then finally, something I thought was a bit interesting. They had this uh, Heineken 0% alcohol beer little sample. Uh, it says try Heineken 0.0, 0.0 alcohol, 100% taste. Hashtag now you can. And I guess you have to be 21 or older. I don't know why that's necessary if it doesn't have alcohol on it, but whatever. Uh, so this is the, the little can. And uh, this is how many ounces? I think 5.1 fluid ounce. It says to serve it at 35 degrees Fahrenheit, which is just above freezing. Uh, so I figured I would taste this on camera for you guys. I probably won't drink the whole thing. There you go. I might have enough left over to make another loaf of noni bread. Uh, I do the almost no need recipe from Cook's Illustrated and it calls for uh, a little bit of beer just to kind of add to the flavor. Uh, so I might just throw that in there. So it tastes just kind of liquefied bread. It doesn't have that kind of like hoppy bite. I haven't had actual Heineken in a while, but as far as just like a pale lager, but anyway, a beer like that, you just expect it to be, to have a little bit more kind of bitterness to it, which is I think what I like about beer. So, okay, I don't think I need to finish that. It's interesting though. I uh, listened to an interesting podcast I thought I would mention. Um, it's from Eyewitness Beauty, and there's two um, people on it. Uh, one of them used to work at Glossier in a like product development type capacity, uh, and the other one is, I think, the co-founder of Necessaire. Uh, so uh, it's a very interesting podcast, and the latest episode, I think, was uh, the guy who co-founded Necessaire, I forget his name, uh, but he interviewed a woman who, I can't recall the name of her book. I think her name is Annie Grace. Uh, but basically she kind of has to get a coaching service about like cutting back on alcohol consumption. It's not like a 
12 step AA get sober type thing. It was just something she started because I guess at one point, and this was I think pre pandemic, she was drinking like a bottle or two of wine a night. Uh, so she wanted to kind of cut back and she did a lot of research into like the effects that alcohol has on the body and all that. So uh, it was very interesting. And the, uh, the guy who was interviewing her he was saying how he did like an informal survey on his Instagram asking if people's like alcohol consumption has increased over the last year and a half. So it's definitely kind of interesting to hear that perspective of like thinking of it in terms of what's going to make you feel good and not it being like a zero sum game like you're either sober or you drink. So uh, anyway, I just thought I would mention that as I consume another type of uh, chemical substance. Okay, so for my add-ons and like the add-on store I guess. Uh, I did a I think screen capture video of the entire add-on sale so if you just want to kind of see the types of things that they have uh, you can check that out. And like I said they currently have a trendsetter sale so uh, the things I saw in the sale that I purchased already I will uh, try to mention that for you. Uh, and if you're not familiar with how these edit sales work I think it's the same as like customization. So you can add things to your basket or choose certain things, but you don't check out at that time. There's like a window and when the window closes, uh, that's when they kind of bill you for what's in your cart and that's what you end up buying. So it's a little bit easier than like a BoxyCharm sale in that you don't have to check out right away. You can kind of add things and then come back later and make up your mind about it. Uh, and that also means that if you have your eye on something and it's showing as being out of stock, you can favor it and then see later if someone removed it from their basket because they didn't want to spend, you know, <laughs> hundreds of dollars or whatever they had kind of totaled up. So it is worthwhile to kind of check back if there's anything you really have your heart on. Uh, so anyway, I got the Bread Hair Oil Everyday Gloss. I think this was $12. And uh, this is 100 ml or 3.3 fluid ounce. And this was basically half off. So this would retail for uh, $24 at Sephora. And they do have a travel size at Sephora that is 30 ml uh, for 14. So you can spend a little bit more than 12 and get less <laughs> basically. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to give this a try. Uh, it's a silicone free oil blend for everyday multi-way use. Delicately soft but powerful, this multi-purpose oil with Australian Kakadu Plum helps provide an anti-greasy, pro-glossy feel for the softest, smoothest, dewiest looking strands. Okay, so it says to apply to wet hair after rinsing out hair mask or in between washes to help give shine and slip to your strands. So it's for an added boost to your next wash day, apply all over dry hair and scalp as a pre-wash treatment, leave on for at least two hours before washing hair. Uh, so if you saw my Ipsy Glam Bag X for August, uh, I got their macadamia oil. Okay, so it does have like a little kind of uh, dispenser. Okay, so that does smell nice. Looks like you can just get kind of a small amount out at a time, so you're not gonna like dump the whole bottle out. I think like I said in that video, uh, I like the aesthetic of that brand. We'll just kind of run it through. It has a really nice fruity kind of smell to it. It reminds me of something, but I'm not quite sure what it is. So I think that feels nice. I don't think my hair looks too greasy. This is uh, second day hair, so. Okay, so uh, that should be fun to play with. Uh, the next item here is from Hip, which is that same brand that did that little silicone bag. Uh, and this is probably one of the things I was most excited about, which is a little silly. Uh, I think this was $5 and you actually get four of each utensil. So you get four forks, four knives, and four spoons. And this says it's made with uh, ocean-bound plastic, reusable cutlery, and these are dishwasher safe, yeah, BPA-free. Uh, so I was mostly excited for these because I have a an ember mug, and uh, what I've learned the hard way is that if you use a normal kind of metal spoon, the like paint coating kind of chips off. 
Uh, so I have been using the like little plastic spoon that came in the R Place Bento box. Uh, so I've been using that pretty much every single day I make coffee and just trying to make sure it gets into the dishwasher every day. So this way I'll have at least four more spoons for my coffee and hopefully avoid any uh, further chipping. But uh, you know, the cutlery itself will I'm sure come in handy for picnics or lunches or what have you. So got that. Okay, so I just washed my hands so I didn't get any oil on this. This is the Kate Spade Desktop Folio. Uh, and this was $22. It's not probably a super high discount. I've seen this item in different designs, I think on Amazon for around 30. Uh, but this one I think is in the current sale. So uh, if you did want to pick this up, I think you'll be able to. Uh, but it just says work and play and then Kate Spade on the back and you open it and you get like three like sticky notes. This one just has like a bracket. So bracket, paper clip and little arrows down at the bottom and then there's that week of at a glance and then just like a notepad says so etc at the top. Yeah, week of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then just like a general to do. So uh, I thought this would be helpful for kind of planning out YouTube content, that sort of thing. So I really like the black and gold kind of aesthetic and everything. But the thing about YouTube is that it is a hobby, but it can also be a lot of work. So weeks where I want to make sure that things go up on a certain day, uh, I just thought it would be uh, helpful to stay organized. And it's uh, fairly compact as well. So I like that it is a kind of week at a glance, but you can kind of keep it protected and, and whatever. So really like that. Uh, so the next item is actually a birthday gift. So Katie, if you're watching this, click off. <laughs> Uh, but I got the Ryan Porter, if you were a Spice Girl, you'd be pumpkin spice candle. Uh, this is a nine ounce candle, natural soy wax. It's supposed to be fresh, earthy, exotic, hand poured in the USA. Uh, and then the little descriptor says, it's PSL season. Don't fight it, babe. Embrace your inner basic betch. Slide on those yoga pants, slip on that oversized hoodie and cozy up with the perfect pumpkin spice latte. Kick off the holiday season right. Fall never smelled so good. XO. Uh, so it's supposed to smell like pumpkin pie, fall spices, vanilla, and caramel. Perfect for cozy autumn vibes. So uh, Katie, my sister-in-law, her birthday is mid-September and uh, she was a huge Spice Girl fan uh, back in the day or whatever. So yeah, I thought that'd be great for her. This was $16. I think normally it retails for $29. Uh, I do wish it had some kind of lid or something just to make it a little bit nicer, but uh, I'll just have to find a nice way to kind of uh, package that. Uh, and then next up, I also got the 12 inch Phantom Chef fry pan. So this was the eight inch that came in the box. And then this was the 12 inch uh, that I got in the add on, same basic design, just bigger. Uh, it'd be nice if they had lids, but alas, they don't. It would also be nice if they went into the oven. Uh, I saw a set of pans at Costco the other day that were oven safe, uh, two different sets actually. So I almost broke down and bought them, but I decided not to. Uh, so yeah, so like I said, we should be good on kind of nonstick cookware. Uh, that was $26 and it's supposed to retail for $49. Uh, and then I also got the Ren Ever Calm Ultra Comforting Rescue Mask. This was $21 and this size would normally retail for $49. So same product line. This looks like it has like a green kind of tint to it, which I don't remember that having. Okay. It's definitely light green. I don't know if they changed it or if I was just using something different before. Uh, but you can see kind of how thick that is. Let me compare it to this one. Uh, so that is the day cream and that is the mask. So yeah, the, the mask is definitely kind of thicker, more emollient. I wonder if I can just kind of 
<laughs> rub these in as like a hand cream. It would be a shame to waste these. Uh, and then finally, I got another unhide uh, blanket. Uh, this time I was able to get the, the medium size. Uh, I think this is supposed to be 50 by six, no. So this one is 60 by 80. I think the smaller one is 50 by 60 maybe. So <laughs> uh, this is the same color as my other one and this is the medium size. Uh, I think the color is like silver fox. Uh, so I, I have been basically sleeping with the, uh, the small one that I got in my, I think, winter box last year. Uh, I will literally just kind of like hug it like a stuffed animal at night. Uh, it's very warm, uh, but I thought it would be nice to have this size for either on the couch or possibly putting it all over the bed. Uh, I forget if a, if the top of a queen or king mattress is 60 by 80. But anyway, I just thought it would be helpful to have the bigger size. I think that particular size might be sold out in the current sale, but they do have, I think, quite a few of the small size. So they have that silver color. I think they have a brown. I don't know if they have like a beige or a pink, but if you haven't tried those blankets before, I would highly recommend them, especially if you live in a cold climate. Uh, if you do live in a cold climate, I would definitely recommend them over the Barefoot Dreams. If you live in a warmer climate or you tend to get hot easily, I think those might be a little bit too much for you. So, uh, but anyway, I think they're great. And full price, that would be 95 and I paid 39. So I definitely thought that was worth it. And then finally, I got this Sterling Forever necklace. Again, this is a gift for uh, my sister-in-law and I think they have a Sterling Forever dedicated sale coming up so if you are uh, interested in them uh, make sure to stay tuned. I'm hoping they'll have more of these kind of birthstone uh, type products. I think these might be currently available in the sale that's going on now. Uh, one thing to just know is that I think these ship directly from the Sterling Forever store or warehouse or whatever uh, so you'll get it separately but uh, for me anyway, I think Sterling Forever is based in like Southern Maryland or whatever and I live in the DC area so uh, it came pretty quickly. So uh, yeah, this was $22. I think it would retail for $64 normally. And I did, I guess, write the dates of the sale down. It will be from September 9th through the 12th. So uh, the reason I got this for my sister-in-law, I just said her birthday was in uh, September. Um, so her um, first daughter, Vivian, um, her birthday was in July. Um, she unfortunately has passed away. Uh, but her second daughter is named Lily. So I just thought it was too perfect that the birth flower for July is a water lily. So I figured she could kind of represent or think of both of her daughters that way. But it says for July, you embody purity and open heart and spontaneity. The water lily is linked to you and is associated with the special qualities. Each flower is as unique as you are. So, uh, my birth flower uh, for April is a daisy, which I don't have any kind of special feelings about. Uh, I think for uh, my husband's birthday, which is in December, it's holly, so I might get some like holly jewelry just because it's kind of seasonal anyway. But yeah, that's it for my uh, fall 2021 FabFitFun unboxing. Uh, I hope you guys found this interesting and got a good idea of the types of items that are available in FabFitFun and the overall kind of quality and value and all that. Yeah, I think that's it for now. Uh, so I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe and that your fall is getting off to a good start. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.